What's up, happy people? We are on a mission right now. Sarah sent me to camp to pick up my big grill in order to cook for Aria's birthday party on Saturday. We got a fire pit. Chris and Marquis, I love you guys. But I came here to pick up this. Here's my bear, execute. I love this bow. It's got the Burris Oracle 2 on it, drop away from Trophy Ridge, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna take some practice shots out here. Just get tuned up. One of the things I believe in is always know your weapon, be prepared. Oh. <laughs> Terrible shot. You know what they say, you practice all year long so that when deer season comes, you're ready. Well, here's the deal, you guys. I was just flying the drone, trying to get some shots. There's a whole pack of hogs out in the middle of this field. And it's like, I don't know if you can see that, but the sun couldn't be possibly higher in the sky. Typically, hogs only move early morning and late evening. If you're watching this and you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. My name's Austin. I'm the cameraman for Deer Meat for Dinner. I travel all over the world with Robert and film some unbelievable things. I, I love what I do, I love working for Robert, love being part of the team, and every once in a while, I get to hunt for you guys. And you know I'm shooting that whisker biscuit. I love a whisker biscuit. It's super simple, it can't fail, doesn't freeze, it's my rest. I know it's on, but we're gonna double check. I love this sight, all I gotta do is press a button and it tells me that's 23 yards. Literally, right in the bullseye. Hey, I'm only gonna shoot one time, a lot of times in the woods, that's all you get. Let's go. Well, good morning, everybody. I would like to thank Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. We're here at the house where I have a very comfortable bed, more comfortable than the ranch. We've had this bed now for about three, four years, and it has totally changed the way we live. When we moved in, we didn't have enough money to have really nice beds. Well, Sarah went online. She found Helix Sleep. She took the sleep quiz. And you know what? We came up with this, the Dusk Lux, and it was a life changer for us. Listen, I sleep on my back and then I roll on my side. I'm all over the place. Sarah, she sleeps on her side and is out. Hey, the sleep quiz helps us pick the right bed for us. For us, it was the Dusk Lux. When we got it, it helped us so much that we couldn't keep our kids out of it. So we got our kids two beds. Now they sleep like a rock and they go to bed easy. Then we changed our guest room. Our guest room's all Helix. It changed the way we sleep. It changed the way we live. I love my Helix mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com forward slash deer meat to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. When you get your mattress, they make it very easy. It's delivered straight to your door, free shipping anywhere in the US, plus they give you a free 100 night sleep trial. That means you can sleep on it for 100 nights just to make sure you love it. They have a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans with financing options available. They make it so easy. So what are you waiting for? Go to helixsleep.com forward slash dear me you're gonna change the way you sleep and you'll be happier for it. Now, let's go back to the ranch. I expect to see some by now at six o'clock. You're not always 
that's right. Ah! I was literally just screwing on my broadhead and I cut myself. Well, at least we know it's sharp. Thought she wasn't gonna start for a second. Thank you, Bobo, for letting me use the side-by-side. afternoon it's staying in the same place so that allows me to sneak through this hammock without getting busted this archery hunt is about to turn into a thermal hunt i have no idea why the frogs are not moving but i haven't seen anything other than two does i just spotted a big group of hogs down here about 150 yards as they're working down the road. So I need to get in the woods here so they can't see me. The wind is perfect, hopefully it doesn't switch. I'm gonna try and sneak through here and get up on them. Yes, I can't believe that worked. That was awesome. They were going away from me, so I was trying to catch up to them. And then all of a sudden they turned and started coming right for me. I didn't know how to film it. So I just clamped it onto my stabilizer right there. Just clamped it on, aimed it at them. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. Can't even talk, I'm excited. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't even talk, I'm excited. If you were watching that and you were wondering what that clicking noise was, that was me pressing this button. Right here, we Velcroed this little button. And what it does is this sight right here, it's got a range finder right there. When I press that button, it ranges whatever I'm aiming at and it gives you a dot. In the video, you'll see it was probably about 23 yards. Right there is 16. That sight is absolutely a game changer. I don't know if you can see Robert running down the road faster than he's ever run, but he's going back to get his bow. We're headed out here to the road to get the buggy to go get the dogs. And there's hogs in the road down here towards the buggy. I'm telling you, Camo has found her calling, man. So. This uh, old sow hog that uh, Austin shot a hog. We came up here and Camo just jumped this live hog. And I mean, this, she's coming in her own now. Good girl. So, Good girl. this uh, perfect hog gosh, gosh, with the drill. All right, we got the quiet cats in the back. We've got, got the hog in the cooler, everything we need. We got a trailer here. This is our PJ, this carries the buggy, but we need the trailer and the cooker back home. Right there's good. good. Yes, sir. That's officially the easiest way to take this trailer on and off. Uh, we're here at All-American, we're just bringing this trailer back 
and uh, this made it very easy. This ain't no joke. We almost had a meet the parents situation. We're having a huge party tomorrow. You're Tony, aren't you? I called Mr. Hoffmeister, who owns Jupiter Septic. He says, we're not taking any more work today. I said, man, please. And he called Tony and they made a special trip out here and saved the day. They pumped out our septic tank and removed the clog and did all kinds of work. So, hey, you saved the day, man. Thank Good you job, very bro. much. If you guys have any problems, Jupiter Septic, I guarantee you. Well, good morning, everybody. Now you're gonna realize why I went to the ranch and got the grill and killed a hog. Today is April 6th. Aria turned eight yesterday, and we have a big old party here today. So there's the grill. We're actually gonna be completely refurbishing this entire grill this week at hog up in stewart so this is going to be the last time we use the grill looking like this now that the fire's going we got our hog a couple shoulders the entire hog is now hung up drying out I like these hogs to come up to room temperature. They're not so internally cold. Then we'll bind them, season them, and throw them on the smoker. Not a ton, just enough. And use your hands, get them all lathered up. Now we're gonna start off with some Everglades Original. go that's what it looked like y'all is it ready yeah let's see what it looks like we're about 250 degrees perfect oh my lord look how good this looks look how good that looks stack them in here that's gonna be perfect now this is Huh? Okay. In the box. Now we'll get it back up to about 200 degrees and just let it slow cook for like three or four hours. All them juices are gonna come together. It's a love potion, y'all. We're getting close to Party Central here. We're up at 250 degrees. The bacon's looking good. Smoke bacon. Look at this. Steam going everywhere. Look at the bones. Have you guys ever seen bacon cooked over hardwood? Now you have. Wait till it goes in that pork. It's gonna be amazing. Smoke bacon. Going in the pot. Look at that. Coming together, y'all. Some blue front onion and dill relish. We're gonna just put that all in here. We're gonna add more, but this is what we're gonna start with. Then take this, just let it start falling in love. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. <laughs> That is so good. People who say you can't cook wild game or wild hogs absolutely have no clue. It just takes some time and effort. That's the whole hog pulled apart, mixed with, uh, with dill relish, blue front, some onions, and some love. Now I'm gonna cover it back up, put it in the oven, and just let it continue to cook low and slow, about 175 degrees. Even if it sits in there for three, four hours, it doesn't matter. It'll just continue to get more and more tender. Bam. The party is kicking in full effect. This right here is my little man. This is Landon. What do you want to go do, hunt or fish? 
Hunt. Hunt? What do you want to hunt for? Hawk. He is one of the few people that's always ready for that, that question. This is his dad right here. This is Mr. Chad. If you get in trouble in Florida and you run from, from the dog in Jupiter, his dog's gonna bite you, period. <laughs> Best not to break the law in Jupiter. Oh my gosh. They just allow anyone here. Stop, buddy. No, brothers don't shake hands, brothers hug. That's right, that's right. There we go. That looked like a good one. Everyone's eating inside. I see kids on the trampoline. Kids are on the jungle gym. Kids are in the side by side. I mean, it's gonna be wild around here soon. That's him jumping. That looks really good. It's extremely good. That smells really good. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> right? Why don't we do that to all of them? <laughs> that is excellent. <laughs> what is that? Boar hog? Yeah, that's hot. That'll work. That's a big old boar hog. Really? No, it's a big old sow. <laughs> you turd. <laughs> Dude, I smoked that whole hog today. I'm well, you get an A plus. <laughs> That's good. That is unbelievable. That is really good. You just go stick your fingers in there like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, who knows? Who can tell me right now what video were us three on together? <laughs> Leave it in the comments below because we're about to redo that. It was a long time ago but it needs to be redone. <laughs> it needs to be redone with a really good fishing trip in it. It does. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the fishing trip just needs to happen. <laughs> I think I think I think what they really like to see is whenever I'm picking on you. Yeah. <laughs> I think they really like that. Hey, Keith, what do you think about this? It is better than any farm raised hog that I, I mean that I've ever had. Look how white that is. That was right on time. Where'd you buy this from? Yeah, right. No. Wow. We bought it from the ranch. That's good pork. Mia, come on! Okay, people are starting to leave and we haven't done cake, so we need to go do cake. Oh my gosh, you guys are fun. Guys, are you ready for cake? No, no. Cake. no. cake time! Rob! Robert! Rob! Matt, tell Rob we're doing cake. You're gonna give that boy thirty dollars right now. <laughs> I'll give you some of my frosting. What? Oh! That's amazing. It's singing to you, Aria. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm gonna put the camera away and I wanna tell all you guys thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of our family and a part of this journey. Say hey to Cliff, tell him he needs to come fishing with us more. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment on what you think. But that's all I've got for today. Take care, God bless, and we gone. Go check out Helix.